I have a 100 watt charger here and I'm not afraid to use it. Although maybe I should be because what I'm about to do might set the studio on fire. Hi, I'm Rod with Phone Arena. Apple's iPhones offer some amazing battery life, with models like the iPhone 14 Pro being able to last over 16 hours of web browsing in our testing, or just over 9 hours of streaming YouTube videos. That's great and all, but when it comes to charging speeds, the iPhone 14 Pro has exactly the same 20W charging as its predecessor, and compared to other flagship phones these days, that's not a lot. Today we're doing an iPhone 14 Pro charging speed test to see just how fast this phone can get from 0 to 100% with a standard 20W charger, a MagSafe wireless charger and a much faster 100% watt charger. Let's begin and see what happens. On the left we have the iPhone 14 Pro charging with a standard dinky little 20 watt power adapter, the kind of default Apple adapter you're likely already using with your iPhone or iPad. In the middle we have the iPhone 14 Pro charging with a MagSafe wireless charger. Now MagSafe is a way more convenient way to charge your iPhone but also the slowest because the iPhone 14 Pro only supports 15 watt MagSafe charging speed. So we can definitely expect this one to take the longest to charge the iPhone. And on the right we have the iPhone 14 Pro charging with a beefy 100 watt charger. So this should be interesting. Will that one charge the phone the fastest, faster than the 20 watt charger or will we see no difference? And while this is going on, now's a nice time to remind you that leaving a like, subscribing to the channel and writing a comment below is a great way to support it and share your thoughts on this experiment or the iPhone series in general. Anyway, let's see how our iPhone 14 Pro charging speed test is going. So 15 minutes have passed since we started the charging speed test and surprise surprise the MagSafe is the slowest. But let's start with Apple's default charger. So on the left the 20 watt Apple charger has gotten the iPhone 14 Pro to 32% which is pretty respectable for just 15 minutes. In the middle the MagSafe wireless charger has the iPhone up to 19% which is to be expected because again this is the slowest charger of the three. On the right we have the exact opposite though, the 100 watt charger which has the iPhone up to 35% which is kind of promising that we might actually get positive results from this experiment. But let's see what happens as time passes and whether this trend of the 100 watt charger actually topping up the iPhone faster will continue. And now we've been charging the phone for 30 minutes. And as we can see, Apple's claim of up to 50% charge in around 30 minutes is true. In fact, it's an understatement because we're at about 60% already. Both the 20 watt and 100% watt chargers are making good progress here. Meanwhile, the MagSafe wireless charger is about halfway behind at just 32%. It's now been 45 minutes since our charging speed test started and surprisingly the 20 watt and 100 watt chargers are neck and neck. Although the latter looked like it was going to charge the iPhone 14 Pro faster at first, right now it definitely doesn't. But again we'll see what happens later on. Meanwhile the slowest 15 watt MagSafe wireless charger continues being close to half the percentage at just 46%. I'm sure no one's surprised by that, but it's good to have a clear picture of just how slower 15 watt charging compared to 20 watt charging is. In any case, moving on. Here we are an hour later after we started this charging test and this is where we begin to notice that the iPhone 14 Pro is now charging slower. In any case, the 20 watt charger on the left has the iPhone up to 87%, the MagSafe is at 59%, and the big boy 100 watt charger is only slightly ahead of the former at 89. So getting a faster charger than what Apple recommends is really starting to look like it's not worth it. Here we are 1 hour and 15 minutes after the charging test started and we're seemingly almost done. The 20 watt charger has gotten the iPhone 14 Pro up to 96% by this point. MagSafe is just under 70 and the 100 watt charger is just a small tiny insignificant 1% ahead of the 20 watt charger. Again it's looking pretty obvious that getting a faster charger for a 20 watt iPhone will not do any miracles. Moving on 15 minutes later and it has now been 1 hour and 30 minutes and we can see that the iPhone 14 Pro charging with a default 20 watt charger is at 99%. In fact, just 6 minutes later it was done at 100. So the whole thing took about 1 hour and 36 minutes. Which means that with Apple's default charger that's how long you should expect to wait for your iPhone 14 Pro to charge from 0 to 100. As for the MagSafe, it's still making good progress, pretty far behind, no surprises here, 78%. 
Meanwhile, the odd one out, the third-party 100W charger has charged the iPhone to 100% and actually did so just 13 minutes after our last check. So that one took 1 hour and 28 minutes. 8 whole minutes faster than the default 20W charger did. Well, I'm surprised we actually got some benefit from using a faster charger after all. Here we are 1 hour and 45 minutes later, now only waiting for the MagSafe charger as the other two have been done for a while now. MagSafe is at 86% right now and let's keep another 15 minutes ahead, see what happens. 95% wow we're moving but I'm willing to bet it's going to be at 99 after another 15 minutes at best. So yeah, it's taking a while, let's see what happens 15 minutes later. And yeah, after 2 long hours have passed and 15 minutes, MagSafe is at 99%, still not finished. It took another 5 minutes for it to finally charge the iPhone to 100%, so overall about 2 hours and 20 minutes. Pretty slow, but again makes perfect sense because the iPhone 14 Pro only supports 15 watt MagSafe charging speeds and wireless charging is still more of a convenience rather than the best practical solution. Ok, we're done! And after many hours of charging and discharging the phone, which for you was seconds, we can answer the million dollar question. Should you buy a faster charger for your iPhone 14 Pro or just get the default 20 watt power adapter from Apple? And the answer is, get the Apple one because it's actually meant for an iPhone and faster chargers do not make much of a difference unless those 8 minutes you may or may not get really matter to you. Ultimately, the iPhone 14 Pro here is capable of only about 20 watt charging, so that's the best we should expect from it. I guess now is a good time for a little PSA. You should always use your phone with the charger that it came with, or in the case of Apple, the charger Apple recommends. Will the iPhone 14 Pro can handle a stronger charger without catching fire, apparently, some cheaper, less reputable brands might sell you a phone or another tech product that may not. And the same goes for cheap third-party chargers. Try to avoid those. In any case, we had fun here. We made the iPhone 14 Pro race itself and in the end, we're all winners because this phone not only has great long battery life, but it charges reasonably fast too, even though it's capped at only 20 watts or 15 watts if using MagSafe. But hey, I'd be lying if I said I'm ok with 20 watts on a flagship phone that costs $1000 when a random cheap Redmi Note 11 Pro Plus comes with 120W charging these days and it comes with an included charger too. So Apple may want to step things up with the next iPhone 15. And if you want to learn about the upcoming iPhone 15 or the current iPhone 14 series, we have all the information on phoneorino.com for you. Thanks for watching, subscribe, leave a comment and I'll see you next time.